Guys, I want to become a fighter pilot. Recently, my dad asked me a question. Why do planes, ships and submarines measure their speed in knots and not kilometer per hour? Well, I was speechless. I didn't know what to answer. But now, I do know the answer. And it's all here in this video. First things first. So what is the difference between nautical mile and knot? Well, nautical mile is the distance whereas knot is the speed. Knot is defined as number of nautical miles in an hour. Well, 1 km is equal to 1000 meters. A nautical mile is equal to 1852 meters. Then why? I mean calculation with 1000 is much easier than calculation with 1852. Then why do planes and ships use nautical mile and not kilometer? And first of all, where did the term originate from? Go. The word nautical mile is derived from the word knot which means looping a rope over itself and then fastening it. It's how you tie your laces every day. It is believed that the term originated in the Netherlands in the 1500s. Back in the days of sailing, captains needed a way to measure the speed of their ships through water. One such way was the chip lock technique. The chip lock system consisted of a wooden weight tied to a reel of rope with knots tied in it at equal intervals. When the wooden weight was tossed overboard, the rope would be pulled out along with it. The faster the ship was travelling through the water, the more the rope would be unwound from the reel. Sailors would then simply count the number of knots that were pulled off the reel in a given amount of time, which was at that time determined by an hourglass. And that would determine the speed of the ship in knots. So where does the difference lie? I mean, how is it different to use knot? and not kilometer? Well, the answer lies in the definition of both the terms. Kilometer is defined in the terms of meter. One meter is the distance light covers in 299,792,450 earth of a second and this number is the numerical value of the speed of light itself. The word nautical mile, it's not defined in the terms of speed of light or anything else. Well, it is defined in the terms of angle. Well, nautical mile, it's based on the circumference of the earth. Consider this apple as the earth and an equatorial line passing through its center. Now, if I were to cut this apple in half through the equator, one second, then I would get a circle in the lower phase. And then you could divide this circle into 360 degree and a degree into 60 minutes. Then each minute would subtend an arc on the circumference. And this arc would be equal to 1852 meters or one nautical mile. Well, a nautical mile is the length of the arc subtended by a minute at the equator. Or to put it in other words, it is a minute of latitude. Back to our question, why do ships use knots and not kilometer per hour or why do they use nautical mile and not kilometer? Well, answer lies in the fact that down in the sea, you don't have any point of reference with respect to which you can define your position. I mean, you could use clouds as one of the reference things, but the clouds are not definite and you don't know which cloud was where. So ships overcome this problem with the help of navigation charts. A navigation chart has latitude and longitude marked on it and is full of point of references. As said before, nautical mile is defined in the terms of latitude. So using a navigation chart and correlating between nautical mile, fractions of latitude and convenient marks on the edges of the chart, navigation becomes much simpler. Therefore, calculation of speed drops down to measuring the distance on the chart with the help of divider and using the math formula speed is equal to distance upon time. So just because nautical mile is defined in the terms of latitude and kilometer is not, so we use nautical mile and not kilometer. But then a physical quantity can be defined in any other way too. I mean you could define kilometer in the terms of latitude or circumference of the earth. Well a kilometer is 40,000th of the circumference of the earth or the circumference of the earth is 40,000 km then why do not we use km? Well the secret lies in the concept of circles and angles. 
a nautical mile is 21,600 of the circumference of the earth or the circumference of the earth is 21,600 nautical mile why it would seem that using 40,000 kilometer would be much simpler than using 21,600 nautical mile for the same distance in actual 40,000 is a much less useful number than 21,600 because of its divisibility into whole numbers 360 degrees when divided into 60 minutes of arc gives us 21,600 which is an abundant number by abundant number we mean that it can be divided into greater many whole numbers than any measure based on 40,000 in short using nautical mile makes calculation much easier so all along the answer lies in the property of a number 21,600 it's your property which defines your usage in the society thanks for watching thanks for watching my video i'll be putting some more do share subscribe like and do whatever you want to do with it and i have a new member in my uh, group well meet my cameraman he helped me a lot <laughs>